Hey everyone, Glenn Tompkins here, Senior Instructor at the VectorVest, and welcome to the next video in our series, Stock Market for Beginners. Today we're going to talk about what does it mean to own a stock? A stock is an asset, something you can buy. You can buy a stock and it represents ownership in that company. You buy shares of that company, and the more shares you have in that company, the bigger your stake is in that company. Now, let's talk about how this affects the company and the investor in that company. When a company sells shares of stock for the very first time, what they're doing is they're raising capital to hopefully reinvest in that company. This is called an initial public offering on IPO. This is where you raise capital through the issuance of shares to the public. As an investor, if I like what the company is doing or I like what the company is selling, I buy shares and hope that my intuition is right and that the company starts to grow. If that happened, let's say my initial investment was $100. As the perceived value of the company grows, the value of my initial investment grows as well, and then I'm a happy investor. Now, someone comes along and they want to buy my shares at a higher price. I now make money when I sell my shares to him at that higher price. The other side of the coin is if the company does not do as well as it thought it would, the perceived value of the company may fall. Then I start to lose on my investment. Now there are two types of shares that can be bought to invest in a company. First off, we have preferred shares, and then we have common stock. The preferred shares are less volatile. If the company happens to go out of business, the preferred shareholders are the first in line to recoup their losses. They're usually given a good dividend to offset those losses due to there's not a lot of capital gain in that stock. Common shares, though, they give you some ownership of the company along with voting rights. You have a say in the direction of the company. The more common stock you own, the more of a say that you have. Now, on the other side of that, even though preferred shares are less volatile, those shareholders do not have any voting rights. Now, let's talk about what can influence a stock's price. The biggest mover of a stock's price is the ability for the company to make money or have positive earnings. Earnings is the amount of money the company makes while it's doing its business. If a company sells a product, are they making more money than what they're selling? Companies that are run well tend to earn money, and that makes them attractive to investors to buy more shares. Now think about these things. Is the upper management doing a good job of managing the everyday activities? Is the company efficient? Are they spending money wisely? Do they have the right people in place? Now, there's many things internally that can affect a stock's price. And these are just a few of the important ones. Let's talk about what external things can affect a stock's price. As a newer investor in the market, let me set the record straight now. There are three things that move stock markets globally. Earnings, interest, and inflation. If a company meets or exceeds its earnings expectation, the company is bullish or it's going to rise. Interest rates are important because if a company must borrow money to grow their business, as many companies do, highest interest rates mean that they have to pay that money back at a higher price. That's going to affect how much money they have to put back into the company. Money for things like research and development. Money for hiring new people and other things. Inflation is important because that's the cost of doing business. When inflation is high, the price of goods and services are high, and that can definitely affect a stock's price. The Goldilocks scenario for the stock market is rising earnings and falling interest and falling inflation. That's the best recipe for higher stock prices. Other things, external political issues can affect the stock market. Health issues and pandemics can affect the stock market as well. Coronavirus is a perfect example of this. Once the coronavirus hit, a lot of the stocks in the market started to fall precipitously. So, 
that's what a stock is, how it works for you and the company, and what things can affect its movement. Hopefully, this brought some things to light for you and gave you a better understanding of how this all works. I look forward to continuing this series in the next upcoming video. Hope to see you there.